Oxalostic Acid, Wikipedia Article Audio Oxalostic acid is a crystalline organic compound with the chemical formula HO2CCCH2CO2H Oxalostic acid, in the form of its conjugate base oxalostate, is a metabolic intermediate in many processes that occur in animals. It takes part in the gluconeogenesis, urea cycle, glyoxalate cycle, amino acid synthesis, fatty acid synthesis and citric acid cycle. Properties Biosynthesis Biochemical functions Gluconeogenesis Urea cycle Glyoxalate cycle Fatty acid synthesis Amino acid synthesis Oxalate biosynthesis Interactive pathway map Oxalostic acid undergoes successive deprotonations to give the dianion. At high pH, the enolizable proton is ionized. The enol forms of oxalostic acid are particularly stable, so much so that the two tautomer have different melting points. Oxalostate forms in several ways in nature. A principal route is upon oxidation of L-malate, catalyzed by malate dehydrogenase, in the citric acid cycle. Malate is also oxidized by succinate dehydrogenase in a slow reaction with the initial product being enoloxalostate, it also arises from the condensation of pyruvate with carbonic acid driven by the hydrolysis of ADP. Occurring in the mesophyll of plants, this process proceeds via phosphenol pyruvate, catalyzed by pyruvate carboxylase. Oxalostate can also arise from trans or deamination of aspartic acid. Oxalostate is an intermediate of the citric acid cycle, where it reacts with acetyl-CoA to form citrate catalyzed by citrate synthase. It is also involved in gluconeogenesis, urea cycle, glyoxalate cycle, amino acid synthesis, and fatty acid synthesis. Oxalostate is also a potent inhibitor of complex 2. Gluconeogenesis is a metabolic pathway consisting of a series of 11 enzyme-catalyzed reactions resulting in the generation of glucose from non-carbohydrates substrates. The beginning of this process takes place in the mitochondrial matrix, where pyruvate molecules are found. A pyruvate molecule is carboxylate by a pyruvate carboxylase enzyme, activated by a molecule each of ADP and water. This reaction results in the formation of oxalostate. NADH reduces oxalostate to malate. This transformation is needed to transport the molecule out of the mitochondria. Once in the cytosol, malate is oxidized to oxalostate again using NAD+. Then oxalostate remains in the cytosol, where the rest of reactions will take place. Oxalostate is later decarboxylated and phosphorylated by phosphenol pyruvate carboxykinase and becomes 2-phosphenol pyruvate using guanosine triphosphate as phosphate source. Glucose is obtained after further downstream processing. The urea cycle is a metabolic pathway that results in the formation of urea using two ammonium molecules and one bicarbonate molecule. This route commonly occurs in hepatocytes. The reactions related to the urea cycle produce NADH, and NADH can be produced in two different ways. One of these uses oxalostate. In the cytosol there are fumarate molecules. Fumarate can be transformed into malate by the actions of the enzyme fumarase. Malate is acted on by malate dehydrogenase to become oxalostate, producing a molecule of NADH. After that, oxalostate will be recycled to aspartate, 
as transaminases prefer these keto acids over the others. This recycling maintains the flow of nitrogen into the cell. The glyoxalate cycle is a variant of the citric acid cycle. It is an anabolic pathway occurring in plants and bacteria utilizing the enzymes isocitrate lyase and malate synthase. Some intermediate steps of the cycle are slightly different from the citric acid cycle, nevertheless oxalostate has the same function in both processes. This means that oxalostate in this cycle also acts as the primary reactant and final product. In fact the oxalostate is a net product of the glyoxalate cycle because its loop of the cycle incorporates two molecules of acetyl-CoA. In previous stages acetyl-CoA is transferred from the mitochondria to the cytoplasm where fatty acid synthase resides. The acetyl-CoA is transported as a citrate, which has been previously formed in the mitochondrial matrix from acetyl-CoA and oxalostate. This reaction usually initiates the citric acid cycle but when there is no need of energy it is transported to the cytoplasm where it is broken down to cytoplasmatic acetyl-CoA and oxalostate. Another part of the cycle requires NADF for the synthesis of fatty acids. Part of this reducing power is generated when the cytosolic oxalostate is returned to the mitochondria as long as the internal mitochondrial layer is non-permeable for oxalostate. Firstly the oxalostate is reduced to malate using NADH. Then the malate is decarboxylated to pyruvate. Now this pyruvate can easily enter the mitochondria, where it is carboxylated again to oxalostate by pyruvate carboxylase. In this way, the transfer of acetyl-CoA that is from the mitochondria to the outside of the cell into the cytoplasm produces a molecule of NADH. The overall reaction, which is spontaneous, may be summarized as 6 essential amino acids and 3 non-essential are synthesized from oxalostate and pyruvate. Aspartate and alanine are formed from oxalostate and pyruvate respectively, by transamination from glutamate. Asparagine, methionine, lysine, and threonine are synthesized by aspartate, therefore given importance to oxalostate as without it, no aspartate would be formed and the following other amino acids would neither be produced. Oxalostate produces oxalate by hydrolysis. This process is catalyzed by the enzyme oxalostase.